just the sweetest guy. You know, he had so much love about him. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at times when people who gained celebrity from reality TV shows sadly lost their lives far too young. Those are the images, those are remnants of the uh, sailors that are gone. Number 20, Mark Bellello, Storage Wars. In the second season of Storage Wars, Bellello instantly caught the viewer's eyes. It took an outsider to really bring everyone together, and his name? was Mark Bolelo. Dressed in flashy clothes with styled hair, the businessman nicknamed Rico Suave had several memorable moments. One of these involved trying to sell a Nintendo Entertainment System for thousands of dollars, and another involved returning Nicolas Cage's stolen Superman comic book he found. NES 001, guys. I want you to look at this very carefully. This is the first Nintendo DS built. The last one that sold with five games in the internet for $13,000. Bolello drew the ire of fellow auctioneers when he walked onto the set with a wad of cash, outbidding them easily. But in 2013, the 40-year-old was arrested for possessing illegal substances. After his release on the same day, he struggled with the experience. The day after, Bolello's body was found inside his car with the engine on. Mark Bolello, the A&E reality TV star of the show Storage Wars, has died at the age of 40. Number 19, Sahara Davenport, RuPaul's Drag Race. From her first appearances in season two of Drag Race, Davenport stole the show with her dancing ability while lip syncing for her life. After coming in seventh, Antoine Ashley used his Davenport persona to carve out a career in music. Do you wanna play with me? However, in 2012, she unfortunately passed away from heart failure at 27. RuPaul's Drag Race sadly had another alumnus lose their life. After finishing fourth on the main show and eighth on season three of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars, Xavion Michael Davenport, better known as Chi Chi Devane, was diagnosed with scleroderma in 2018. She was a show-stopping, and I mean a show-stopping performer. In 2020, after suffering from kidney failure, Devane passed away from pneumonia at the age of 34. They are on Chi forever. Number 18, Simone Kerr, Britain's Got Talent. The NHS-backed B-positive choir features members who have sickle cell or personal connections to it. Simone Kerr, a nurse whose son died from sepsis related to his sickle cell, was part of the choir when they competed during Series 12 of Britain's Got Talent in 2018. the wild card act for the final, the choir came in 11th. Only a couple of months after appearing on the show, the 31-year-old Kerr was fatally attacked by her partner Desmond Silva. The Army veteran tried to claim mental health issues were responsible for the violence. However, the jury did not agree and found him guilty of murder. In 2019, Silva was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum of 21 years. Number 17, Ashley Minnie Ross, Little Women Atlanta. Following the lives of a group of women with dwarfism, Little Women LA was a success, creating several spin-offs. Ross was a constant presence in Little Women Atlanta. After all, she appeared in every season of the show and became a fan favorite. Just let no, just let money know. My mom won't try to throw the water at her. Okay. Just please, okay. please. However, Ross was unable to complete season six entirely. In 2020, she was driving at night in Atlanta, Georgia. She suddenly lost control of the car and veered into the other lane, striking another vehicle head on. Sadly, Sunday evening, the 34-year-old passed away after being involved in a fatal car accident. While the other driver received treatment for non-life-threatening injuries, Ross wasn't as lucky. After being rushed to a nearby hospital, she sadly lost her life at the age of 34. Number 16, Ryan Knight, The Real World. When The Real World took the show to New Orleans in 2010, Knight was one of the members who caught the audience's attention. After an injury derailed a prospective hockey career, he struggled with substance use and moved to New Orleans to escape bad influences. On the show, his controversial relationship with Jemmy Carroll and his behavior towards her made many uncomfortable, turning him into a reality villain. Afterward, Knight moved on to another reality show, The Challenge. He was, he was the wild one, he was the party one that everyone always says, 
But behind that, he was the one who called me on Mother's Day to, you know, see how I was doing because he knew my mother had passed away. Shortly after filming the Battle of the X's 2 season in 2014, Knight's body was found at his house in Kenosha, Wisconsin. An investigation found that the 28-year-old had lost his life from accidentally combining alcohol with various substances. I'm Brian Knight, the man of the myth legend. Often imitated, never duplicated. <laughs> Number 15. Christopher Big Black Boykin, Robin Big. The hijinks and friendship between Rob Deerdeck and Christopher Boykin, also known as Big Black in their show Robin Big, were a delight to witness. Dude, he's not a fake! He's a fake! I might be an alien! Yeah. <laughs> what is spooky, man? Impressively, Boykin smashed two Guinness World Records during the program's run. Even after the series ended, Deerdeck and Boykin continued their on-screen relationship with the later series of Rob Deerdeck's Fantasy Factory until that ended in 2015. In 2017, Boykin was struggling with heart issues and had a defibrillator implanted into his chest. It was suspected he would need a transplant at some point. Shared that the reality star had congestive heart failure and a defibrillator in his chest for 10 years. However, before that could happen, Boykin's heart stopped. Unfortunately, he couldn't be revived and passed away at the age of 45. Number 14. Ahmad Real Givens, Real Chance of Love After appearing on I Love New York, brothers Ahmad Real Givens and Kamal Chance Givens starred in the reality dating show Real Chance of Love. I think we need to name her Corn Fed. <laughs> Come on down. I got a lot of biscuits in the oven. Women, who were given nicknames, were pitted against each other in competitions and were eliminated by the rapper siblings until a winner was declared. After that, the Givens brothers then teamed up for Real and Chance, the legend hunters, to discover mythical beasts in 2010. In 2013, after several misdiagnoses, Ahmad was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer. After battling the disease with chemotherapy and surgeries, his condition rapidly deteriorated in 2015, sadly taking his life at the age of 33. Without the Lord, I don't think anybody can get through a death. You know what I mean? It's traumatic, it's dramatic, it's stressful, it's, it's, all, it's, it's just, you can't believe it. You know what I mean? So. Number 13, Anna Nicole Smith, The Anna Nicole Show. Anna Nicole Smith rose to fame as a model and an actor, and also due to her controversial marriage to billionaire J. Howard Marshall. She gave birth to her daughter in 2006, but her joy was short-lived. Are you doing okay? Did you order you something to eat? Yeah, what'd you eat? Pizza. Huh? Pizza. Pig snop? No, pizza. Her 20-year-old son died from an accidental overdose while visiting Anna and his new little sister. She had other issues to contend with in her life, including lawsuits over her deceased husband's estate and severe problems with prescription medication. In 2007, she was found unresponsive in her hotel room in Hollywood, Florida, from a toxic combination of substances. Sadly, the 39-year-old Smith did not survive. If I ever record an album, I want this guy to produce my, make me beautiful duets. Number 12, Ryan Dunn, Jackass. Rising to fame with the CKY crew alongside best friend Bam Margera, Dunn and Margera joined the Jackass team for their TV show in 2000. Ryan Dunn about to do some uh, skiing up here in the Pennsylvania mountains and try not to die. Showcasing a group of friends taking part in dangerous and sometimes disgusting stunts, the series captured a rabid fan base, leading to a massive Jackass franchise. In 2011, Dunn and Zachary Hartwell, a production assistant in one of the films, were drinking at a bar. Afterward, Dunn gave Hartwell a lift in West Goshen Township, Pennsylvania. Sadly, a combination of speeding and intoxication caused Dunn to drive off the road and collide with a tree before going up in flames. Neither the 34-year-old Dunn nor the 30-year-old Hartwell survived. He was just the sweetest guy. You know, he had so much love about him. He made us smarter, he made us funnier, he made us sweeter, he brought a lot of love to the group. Number 11, DM Brown, The Challenge. Debuting in the 2006 season of The Challenge known as Fresh Meat, Brown immediately drew praise for announcing she was battling ovarian cancer. Someone really wants something bad enough? Yeah. They don't care what's wrong with them. 
They don't care how they're gonna get it. They just know that they're locked in, they're focused. They have the eye of the tiger. She became a stalwart of the reality show, appearing in several seasons. Brown even created one of the challenge's most touching moments when she removed her wig during the dual season. Balancing her entertainment reporter role, Brown also set up Medgift, a crowdfunding site for those struggling with medical bills. While all this was going on, she beat cancer twice. However, in 2014, it returned for the third time, causing Brown to collapse as she filmed the Battle of the X's 2 season. Sadly, the disease had spread, and the 34-year-old passed away. Breaking news, people has lost a big part of our family today. DM Brown has died after a long battle with cancer at 32 years old. Number 10, Pedro Zamora, The Real World. In 1994, The Real World went to San Francisco to follow a group of 20-year-olds looking to find their place in life. This season would break the mold for reality TV. After being diagnosed as HIV positive and becoming an educator of the disease, Zamora wanted to use the show to spread awareness. When Pedro told me he was HIV positive, it was just like, no, not him. <laughs> I like this guy and I don't want him to have to suffer. He taught viewers and his fellow cast about the disease. Zamora and his partner Sean Sasser became the first same-sex couple to have a commitment ceremony on TV. Knowing that he's there, so I love you. A day after the season aired, the 22-year-old Zamora sadly passed away from complications from his illness. Sasser, who was also HIV positive, worked as a pastry chef after the show. In 2013, he unfortunately passed away from cancer at 44. Today, Pedro Zamora's legacy lives on. A scholarship fund supports students focusing on health justice issues. Mili Zamora keeps her brother's memory alive, advocating for love and acceptance in all families. Number 9. Rachel Brown, Hell's Kitchen In the 2006 season of Gordon Ramsay's culinary competition, contestants hope to secure a lucrative Las Vegas gig. You could hear it in your head, the cash register sound going on. Among them was 39-year-old Rachel Brown, who was eliminated in episode 5. In his trademark fashion, Ramsay was hard on her, but as Rachel told IGN in a post-elimination interview, he didn't make her feel singled out. There's a lot that goes into being a leader, and I think part of that is setting an example of who you are and how you act the whole time, not just in the kitchen. In fact, she seemingly found his style to be relatively normal by kitchen standards, stating, quote, he's demanding, as he should be. I know it should be up here because of my performance tonight. Sadly, the next year in May 2007, the behind-the-scenes narrative took a dark turn when Brown was tragically found dead in her family home in Bedford, Texas from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Number 8. Valerie Fairman, 16 and Pregnant In 2010, Valerie Fairman was featured on this popular MTV series. I'm Valerie. I'm 15 years old, and I live in farm country near Oxford, Pennsylvania. Because of the format of the show, she only appeared in one episode, but her family claims that her time on TV, quote, went to her head. And stop saying, and stop saying that, like, everything is so horrible about me because it's not. Known to act out before her MTV appearance, in the years that followed, Valerie had numerous run-ins with the law, including a 2015 arrest for sex work. Despite attempts to turn her life around and multiple trips to rehab, she ultimately passed away from reported substance issues in 2016 at age 23. She left behind a seven-year-old daughter named Nevea. I'm just happy she's, she's okay now. Number 7. Angela Big Ange Rayola, Mob Wives Known for her larger-than-life persona and Big Ange moniker, this New York native lived a colorful life even before appearing on reality. TV. I see a lot of things I have to be fixed. So when Mob Wives came calling for Angela Rayola, she was primed for a breakout performance. Big Ange evolved into a series mainstay, earned herself not one but two spin-offs, and even crossed over into feature film with a cameo in Scary Movie 5. You gotta check that shit. Sadly, less than five years into her reality TV career, Angela's health rapidly declined. Cancerous tumors were discovered, ultimately leading to her death at age 55. But in the world of reality TV, Big Ange remains one of the more memorable personalities. Regardless. And you can still have a lot of good times with exactly. If you just talk about it, straighten it out. Number 6. Michael Johns, American Idol Born and raised in Perth, Australia, this crooner established a loyal fan base during his time on American Idol Season 7. My fire. 
as one of the finalists, Michael Johns proved to have commercial appeal and the musical versatility to back it up. While he did not achieve immense success after his reality TV experience, Johns was still widely considered one of the more popular series contestants. I really, really like you. And so, his sudden 2014 death came as a surprise to the American Idol community, when he passed away at only 35 due to a condition known as dilated cardiomyopathy. When the 2016 series finale brought back a variety of past contestants, his presence was sorely missed. Don't you forget about me. Number 5. Gia Alamond, The Bachelor He is just the perfect gentleman, and he is sweet and genuine and a great person with a great heart. On season 14 of ABC's The Bachelor, this Queens native came fairly close to winning Jake Pavelka's heart. Gia Alamond went on to appear on the spin-off series Bachelor Pad, alongside some other past contestants, before settling into a relationship with NBA player Ryan Anderson. If I didn't have a boyfriend, this would be the place I'd want to be. Unfortunately, when things soured between the two of them and personal issues added to her pain, Gia called her mother and then proceeded to take her own life. It destroys me, but if it made her feel better, that's just I don't mind dealing with this. Number 4. Joey Kovar, The Real World When this Chicagoan appeared on The Real World Hollywood, he proved to be one of the series' most explosive castmates. I'm Joey. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> In fact, Joey Kovar was ultimately asked to leave and seek help, and not long after, he was cast on Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. I have a ridiculous tolerance to this stuff. Sadly, his acting career never got the chance to take off, and his story came to a sad end when he succumbed to his substance use issues. At only 29 years of age, Joey Kovar became the third real-world cast member to pass away, following the untimely death of 25-year-old Frankie Abernathy, who, during her time on the show, helped bring attention to the condition that ultimately took her life, cystic fibrosis. Number 3. Shane Gandy, Buck Wild. In 2013, this West Virginian was featured on MTV's reality series Buck Wild. Oh yeah, well you ain't never been mad with me. Not only was Shane Gandy a refreshing break from the often image-conscious stars of reality TV, he also quickly became the show's most compelling cast member. It's awesome that the girls are out in the country now. I only had to drive into the city to get my fart on. Unfortunately, less than two months after the season finale, Shane and two others were found dead after a mudding trip went horribly wrong. The death of this 21-year-old marked a significant moment in reality TV. Good morning, George. You know, Buck Wild, it's a show about the crazy adventures of nine young West Virginians. Shane Gandy told friends that he did that show for his family. And this morning, his father tells one of the show's producers that his son died doing what he loved. Gandy was known for living hard, and the camera loved it. Although his rough-and-tumble way of living came naturally to him, it ultimately cost him his life, leaving family, friends, and fans alike struggling to process the loss. Number 2. Christina Grimmie, The Voice During her teenage years, this vocalist earned a loyal YouTube following thanks to her impressive cover songs. So, when Christina Grimmie later appeared on NBC's The Voice, she was primed to make the spotlight her own. Coming from someone that was so comfortable in her room all the time, it means the world. Not only did Christina manage to finish in third place, she also truly stunned the judges, earning offers and plenty of media attention. On June 10, 2016, Christina invited fans to her Orlando show, and it seemed to be just another night. But in a tragic turn of events, the 22-year-old musician became yet another victim of gun violence when she was shot and killed by a fan while signing autographs. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Phil Harris, Deadliest Catch Although Phil Harris had long been a respected fisherman, he became somewhat of a legend thanks to the exposure on Deadliest Catch. That's bull****, you know what? Yeah, he's calling up trying to find another boat to get on because he's afraid he's going to kill you. Year after year, viewers tuned in to watch Captain Harris navigate through extreme situations. Unfortunately, his fans would discover the all-too-real dangers of Phil's line of work when a random mishap severely injured the man. In Season 6, Phil's struggles were further documented, leading to one of reality TV's most heartbreaking moments when Harris suffered a stroke that ultimately resulted in his death. The Cornelia Marie lost its captain, and reality TV lost a truly beloved star. 
Those are the images, those are remnants of the uh, sailors that are gone. Which canceled reality show would you like to have back? The Simple Life, Cutthroat Kitchen, My Super Sweet 16, or something else? Let us know below. So you've never been on a dairy farm? No. No. Okay, you don't like the odor? Here, no. Tell. No. It's not near as bad as that perfume you got on. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.